father first. There was once upon a time a peasant woman who had a daughter and a stepdaughter. The daughter had her own way in everything, and whatever she did was right in her mother's eyes. But the poor stepdaughter had a hard time. Let her do what she would. She was always blamed and got small thanks for all the trouble she took. Nothing was right, everything wrong, and yet, if the truth were known, the girl was worth her weight in gold. She was so unselfish and good-hearted. But her stepmother did not like her, and the poor girl's days were spent in weeping, for it was impossible to live peacefully with the woman. The wicked shrew was determined to get rid of the girl by fair means or foul, and kept saying to her father, "Send her away, old man." Send her away anywhere, so that my eyes shallin't be plagued any longer by the sight of her, or my ears tormented by the sound of her voice. Send her out into the fields and let the cutting frost do for her. In vain did the poor old father weep and implore her pity. She was foul, and he dared not gainsay her. So he placed his daughter in a sledge, not even daring to give her a horse cloth to keep herself warm with, and drove her out onto the bare, open fields, where he kissed her and left her, driving home as fast as he could. That he might not witness her miserable death. Deserted by her father, the poor girl sat down under a fir tree at the edge of the forest and began to weep silently. Suddenly, she heard a faint sound. It was King Frog springing from tree to tree and cracking his fingers. As he went, at length he reached the fir tree beneath which she was sitting, and with a crisp crackling sound, he alighted beside her and looked at her lovely face. Well, maiden, he snapped out, "Do you know who I am? I am King Frost, King of the Red Noses." All hail to you, great king," answered the girl in a gentle, trembling voice. "How you come to take me? Are you warm, maiden?" he replied. "Quite warm, King Frost," she answered, though she shivered as she spoke. Then King Frost stooped down and bent over the girl, and crackling sound grew louder. And the air seemed to be full of knives and dags. And again he asked, "Maiden, are you warm? Are you warm, you beautiful girl?" And though her breath was almost frozen on her lips, she whispered gently, "Quite warm, King Frost." Then King Frost gnashed his teeth. And cracked his fingers, and his eyes sparkled, and the crackling crisp sound was louder than ever. And for the last time, he asked her, "Maiden, are you still warm? Are you still warm, little love?" And the poor girl was so stiff and numb that she could just gasp, "Still warm, O、oh、King!" Now her gentle, courteous words and her uncomplaining ways touched King Frost, and he had pity on her, 
and he wrapped her up in furs and covered her with blankets and he fetched a great box in which were beautiful jewels and a rich robe embroidered in gold and silver and she put it on and looked more lovely than ever and king froze tapped with her in his sledge with six white horses in the meantime the wicked stepmother was waiting at home for news of the girl's death and preparing pancakes for the funeral feast and she said to her husband old man you had better go out into the fields and find your daughter's body and bury her just as the old man was leaving the house the little dog under the table began to bark see your daughter shall live to be your delight her daughter shall die this very night hold your tongue you foolish beast scolded the woman there is a pancake for you but you must say her daughter shall how much silver and gold his daughter is frozen quite stiff and cold by the doggy ate up the pancake and barked saying his daughter shall wear a crown on her head her daughter shall die unwound and were then the old woman tried to cock the doggy with more pancakes and to terrify it with blows but he barked on always repeating the same words and suddenly the door creaked and flew open and a great heavy chest was pushed in and behind it came the step daughter radiant and beautiful in a dress and glittering with silver and gold for a moment the step mother's eyes were dazzled then she called to her husband old man yoke the horses at once into the sledge and take my daughter to the same field and leave her on the same spot exactly and so the old man took the girl and left her beneath the same tree where he had parted from his daughter in a few minutes king frost came past and looking at the girl he said Are you warm maiden what a blind old fool you must be to ask such a question she answered angrily can't you see that my hands and feet are nearly frozen then king froze sprang to and fro in front of her questioning her and getting only rude rough words in reply till at last he got very angry and cracked his fingers and gnashed his teeth and froze her to death but in the heart her mother was waiting for her return and as she grew impatient she said to her husband get out the horses old man to go and fetch her home but see that you are careful not to upset the sledge and lose the chest but the doggy penny the table began to bark saying your daughter is frozen quite stiff and cold and shall never have a chest full of gold don't tell such a wicked lies scolded the woman there is a cake for you now see her daughter shall marry a mighty king at that moment the door flew open and she rushed out to meet her daughter and as she took her frozen body in her arms she too was chilled to death